Give me an inspirational startup quote. Don't worry about failure. You only have to be right once. Drew Houston, CEO of Dropbox. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need more inspiration or anything else, you can build your own AI voice app in 15 minutes without writing a single line of code. I'm going to record my screen and walk you through the entire process step by step. You don't need any tech background knowledge for this one. For those of you who are new here, my name is Zubair and I build apps without writing code using no code and AI. So let's get started. To use ChatGPT in your own application, don't go to ChatGPT. I know that sounds weird. What you are looking for is actually their backend API infrastructure. So you need to go to this particular link. I'll put a link to this in the description below platform.openai.com. Signing up to this is free. Uh, I already have an account, so I'll just go ahead and log in. So when you sign up, you'll see something like this. And then all you need to do is go to the dashboard section and then into this API key section. Here you'll be generating the API key that will link your account to your app. So just click this create new secret key, just type your app idea or any name that you want, create a secret key. Now leave this here at the moment. Bubble is a fantastic no code platform that allows you to build apps without learning how to code. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. But when you sign up, just go through the onboarding sequence. And what you need to do is just create an app and just start with a blank app. When you start with a blank app, you'll see something like this. No need to worry about it. I'll just guide you step by step. We need to install a plugin. So I'm just gonna go to this plugins tab. I'm gonna click this add plugins here and I'm gonna type GPT real time voice. It'll show me the right plugin that I need for my application. So I'm just gonna install this one. This particular plugin connects the OpenAI real-time API that we just generated here with our application. Now, just to give a bit of background, it can get a bit confusing, but all the pieces will make sense very quickly. We've got the OpenAI real-time API, we've got Bubble, and we've got one plugin in the middle. To use this plugin, we have to sign up to their service in the middle, which makes this connection possible. So all we have to do, it's a free account. All we have to do is go to plugins.wisable.io. I'll put a link to this in the description below and just confirm your email address and you'll get a free account in the middle. So I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. When you log in, you should see something like this. So the, in the authorized app URL, all you need to do is put your own new app URL. Now, where do I find my app URL? I just click the preview button. And when you click the preview button, this particular URL in the browser, that is your app URL that the plugin needs. So I'll just copy paste this here. In this particular dropdown, the service, we are relying on OpenAI. So I'm just gonna select OpenAI in this dropdown and the OpenAI key that I just generated here, I'll just copy this and paste it in this section here, all right? Then just click submit and in a few seconds, I've done this a few times, so I've got my previous keys, but in a few seconds, this one will generate and you'll get this long string in the middle. So just make sure to copy all the way from the start to the very end. So control C, copy. And now I'm back in my app in this section here called public access key. All I've just pasted it here. Before we continue, my goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2025. So please hit that subscribe button. Back to the video. Just a quick recap. It can seem a bit complicated by setting up all these three different places, but we've done the setup part. After setting up, all we've got to do is a few simple steps and we'll have our app running in no time. We've got the OpenAI API key, we've got the plugin key, and we've got Bubble signed up and a clean new app. Now, let's switch back to the design tab it's quite easy because all you have to do is just drag and drop elements as you want to come along. So the first thing, let's just drag a text element here, AI voice app. The next thing we want to do is we want to select the microphone that we have. So we're just going to need a drop down here. So I'll just scroll down to the here and I'll just drag and drop a drop down and I'll say, choose a mic instead. All right. 
Now, how do I detect how many microphones I have in my computer right now? The plugin helps us a lot. It already has an action called detect microphones. All I'm going to do is make a button again, drag and drop a button here, call it detect microphone. Now to make use, now to make use of this detect microphone action, I need to also add one more step. I have to drag and drop the plugin element here as well. All right, this is just me dragging and dropping the plugin element here. And there are a few steps to initialize the plugin. I'll just click this drop down and select conversations. Okay, conversation open AI, the one with the brackets. The microphone name is the same one that I select in the drop down here. So I click in here, I see this insert dynamic data. That's a way to connect the drop down with this plugin element in Bubble. I click here. And I'm just going to try drop down, choose a mic value. All right. In the model settings, what do I need to do? As of today, this particular model supports the real time API. You can type anything in the prompt section here, but I'll just leave the rest as defaults for now. All right. So just a quick recap. I've got my text here. I've got my drop down here. I've got my detect mic button here. I've got my uh, plugin element here with some configuration options. Notice I haven't done any kind of nothing happens on this detect mic button and the drop down. It doesn't show any options. If I click preview now, the drop down is not going to show me any options here because I haven't connected anything on this button here. Now to actually make this button detect a microphone, I'm just going to click the button. I'm going to click this add workflow option. When I click here, I'm just going to click here to add an action and type detect. So detect microphones, a detect microphones. That's it. Now, if I click preview and I click detect microphones, I see this little pop-up and I have to allow my microphone to be used for this particular app for this particular website. Going back now I've connected, I I've detected the microphone, but I have not connected it to the drop down. Okay. So to go, to do that, I click the drop down. I click this choices instead of a static set of choices. I click dynamic choices and in dynamic choices, the type is text. All right. And the choice sources are my plugin elements input microphones field. Okay. So that will connect the drop downs list of choices with the plugins detected microphones. Let me click preview and show you what it's going to look like. Okay. So I click detect mic again, microphones have been detected. Now I see the options in my drop down. I've got a couple of microphones here. So I see a couple of options in the drop down here. You don't see the full list of options, but that's because of the screen recording system. But I do see all the options here. So what have we done now? We've got our text, we've got our mic, we've got our detect mic, and we've got our plugin element here. Now, very, the next steps are quite simple. All I need to do is have another button to just start the conversation. Okay. And that's it. I, or I can have another button which stops the conversation. So now to make these buttons work, I click the start button. I click add workflow. I click here to add an action. I click start conversation. That's it. The conversation will start when this button is pressed. I go back to the design tab. I click stop. I click add workflow. I click here. I click uh, add an action, which is the stop a conversation. And that's it. I should be done with the basics. I click preview. I've got my app loaded. I need to click detect mic first. Now that I have my mic is detected, I select the right microphone. Then I start a conversation. Give me an inspirational startup quote. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. Keep pushing forward, no matter the obstacles. Okay, that works. I think it's still live, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so I click stop. Hello, testing one, two, three. Yeah, it stopped. But it is a bit weird that I can't see the con. It's okay for just voice purposes. But how do I see the chat live as well? That too is easily possible. No. Now in bubble to see all the text elements in sequence, you use what's called a repeating group. Okay. So that's like a table. All right. So a repeating group will just connect the, just display the list of messages separately in each row. 
for the data source, I'm going to select the voice chat plugin element and I'm going to look at conversation. All right. When I tick conversation, it automatically nudges me, change this repeating groups type to conversation. I just click here and that type is set. All right, done. Now I just drag and drop a, a text element inside the repeating group. And to make this work, notice that it says edit me in a, like a table fashion. So I just click the first text element. I click here, I insert dynamic data and I select current cell conversation, conversation messages, each items content. Okay. I think, yeah, each items content and each items text. That's all. So if now that I click preview, I should get my stream of messages as well. The choose the right mic, start a conversation, suggest an inspirational quote. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Are you listening? I stopped it. Sorry. Are you listening? Loud and clear. How can I help you today? Yeah. To tailor your voice assistant into something special, all you need to do is click the voice chat element and change this prompt here. You can turn it into a comedian, a life coach, a therapist, whatever you want, all doable. So you can launch your own AI powered voice app idea in no time. Now, without writing a single line of code, we went from a blank canvas to a functioning AI powered voice application. Think about it for a moment. Zero coding, zero programming skills, using no code, using AI, you can easily quickly launch your startup. Of course, you need to add a few more features. There's a whole bunch of steps you need to do to launch the application. I'll put a link in the description below to the bubble developer roadmap, which lists down a bunch of helpful resources that you can use on your own learning journey and some shameless self promotion here. I run a team of bubble developers and we build apps for clients all day, every day. So if you're stuck, just get in touch using the link below and we're more than happy to help you out on your app idea. This was just a super quick video. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll try my best to answer or make a follow on video. Thanks. Bye.